He's very interactive with our family. He's had a long, difficult journey medically, but um, he takes it in stride and he's kind of my hero. Josh Harris lives with his family in Minnesota. Born prematurely and with multiple and complex medical issues, he was not expected to survive. Josh, he's had over 40 surgeries and or procedures. I think a lot of our strength and courage has come from knowing how to navigate the medical world. Debbie and her husband, Victor, were told that bringing Josh home would ruin their other children. I took that to heart, like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna ruin the other boys. So then we just set about trying to make life as normal as possible. A normal life proved difficult when Victor, a Marine, was called to active duty following 9-11. They lost their traditional medical coverage, and the complexities of navigating the healthcare and human services systems grew exponentially. When I called the person that you're supposed to talk to when you have a complex person in your family, um, she told me, literally, and I'll never forget the words, we don't pay for kids who can't be fixed. Debbie was put in an impossible position as Josh required 24-hour in-home support, which their insurance company would not provide. You can't just ever leave him alone. He needs suctioning sometimes for hours because he has so much stuff. He has a feeding tube he's on, feeding's 24 hours through a pump. There's just a lot. The Harrises paid out of pocket for some services and rationed the supports they had. This gave Debbie two nights of sleep each week when a nurse came. Having kind of a structured, solid family and community base makes all the difference. Josh has excellent receptive language, so even though he's not talking to you like we would typically be talking to each other, he's taking in everything's going on around us. He's happy. As long as his medical needs are met, he's comfortable. We make that a priority. Can you grab on? One of the things that you struggle with is if your child doesn't have friends, doesn't get invited to birthday parties and whatever. Josh did have a friend throughout school, and he has a strong presence in his community. Everybody knows Josh, and you know, it hasn't always translated into he's got this kind of one-to-one -one relationship, but when we go out in the community, there are people who know Josh who don't know us. I find myself talking a lot about Josh's conditions and all the things that surround being able to keep him at home. But the one thing I don't ever really get to say is that, like, I'll just go downstairs and Josh will be sleeping, and I'll just look at him and I'll just think, I am the most fortunate mom in the entire world, and he is absolutely perfect. That's what I think.